guys. It's a sad, sad day this morning on the homestead. Um, one of our beloved pets um, has passed away. And uh, he had a good run. He was very feisty, to say the least. Very, I don't want to say mean or uh, he was very much of a loner and he didn't like anybody around so he was the uh, he was the lone shark uh, our black bullhead catfish passed away last night and when we got up this morning his uh, he was just kind of just laying and upside down in this tank so we're gonna give him a proper burial today and uh, I'm gonna show you some footage of when he was just a fryling when we got him filet rest in peace buddy we loved you you were the centerpiece of our living room for years and years <laughs> so you remember whenever we got filet don't you uh, yeah. uh, cowboy one of our dogs well it had rained real real hard that that week and um, the neighbor's pond flooded and all his catfish uh, I don't want to say all but at least some were just floating on top of the the ground just wiggling around and one of our dogs picked it up and brought a catfish in the house and that catfish wasn't no bigger than that long and uh, we put him in here and he's been in here ever since so that was probably 2015 16 17 18 19 He's almost, he, he was fixing to have a birthday. He'd have been five years old. And uh, I'm pretty much sure that uh, Black Bullheads, when I did my research on uh, this species of catfish, they only live five to six years in, uh, in the wild. So I was hoping to get more than that in captivity. But I think he's probably, you know, a couple pounds is about what they the size they get but let's go ahead and and get him rested in peace and uh, yeah like I said I'm gonna show you all some footage of uh, when he was just a little frowling and us uh, <laughs> hand feed them uh, he had some some company in this tank but every time I put anything in here he'd kill it so <laughs> Gus? Gus is gone you know and the bluegill are, are gone and all the and anytime I went crappie fishing I'd always put my minnows in there and he'd eat every one of those but he just got I don't know I think his his air bladder quit working because he never could he'd always be in his tank at an angle and he just couldn't uh you know sustain himself anymore and this his, his body just shut down layla he's just not with us anymore he's in fishy heaven sorry baby when are we gonna get more fish we only have one more fish in this house so well, we'll get some more well, i promise you we're going to do a deep clean on this tank and we'll, we'll have uh, we'll have a definitely have a community tank uh, for the family to enjoy never been a good friend yeah, one's this is thick and thin. Worms escaping and what are you going to do with earth why are there earthworms on my counter because <laughs> you've been a good friend oh well, let's go feed a catfish.
love you, buddy. 